Hi everybody, my name is Ubu Iganyo Kagana. I am currently pursuing my law degree at Wits University. Um, I'm in my third year of study and I'm 21 years old. I am extremely passionate about people. I am passionate about um, standing up for people that don't have a voice. I am passionate about speaking on behalf of people that don't know how to speak for themselves. Um, I think with that said, uh, that is part of the reason why I wanted to pursue a law degree, especially at Un Wits University. I am thoroughly enjoying my course. Um, going forward, I want to use my law degree to be an agent of change, um, be an agent of transformation, to challenge the hegemonic masculinity in the legal fraternity and most of all to chart the course for women that are coming after me to be able to stand up and be considered equals and be taken seriously and um, be at the forefront of effecting change in the legal stratosphere. I am the oldest of three children. Um, my siblings still live with my parents. Um, and from a young age, I've always been um, challenged to step up to the plate to um, embody maturity and to embody a sense of responsibility and a high level of reasoning um, as opposed to my peers. And I think um, how that has formed me as a person is that it has taught me that um, nothing is given to you on a silver platter, that you have to work for everything that you want. And um, I think my work speaks for myself. Um, I have always made it a point to define mediocrity. I've always done well academically. Um, at the end of my first year, I was invited to be um, part of the Golden Key Society. I have the natural ability to lead, and so I've used this to um, to serve on various school councils. I mean, from when I was in primary school, um, through my high school career, I was on the representative council for learners. Um, now that I'm at WITS, um, I was on the WITS SRC legal office subcommittee under the leadership of Wasim Talia. And um, now I am on the WITS Law Students Council um, for the term of office 2015-2016. And um, this has opened uh, many doors for me and it has challenged me to a new level of growth um, as I have worked with um, the Minister of Justice that has attended my events. I have worked with a great caliber of young leaders um, that have um, effected change. I have worked with uh, a few members of the SRC even um, in order to um, be agents of change in the community. And uh, I think going forward, the biggest lesson that I've learned is that leadership is servitude. And I have used this to be uh, an, agent, an agent of service um, to, my fellow, to my fellow peers, to those that are younger than me, and um, to look to those that are older than me um, for guidance and for support. And um, I think that going forward, um, pursuing my education um, and why I applied for this bursary is that um, the reality is that um, our our economy is kind of strained. My parents are raising three children and as you can imagine um, paying for the education of all three um, is, is really a challenge. I mean I've seen my parents give up so much for me and um, I think that is part of the reason why I have taken initiative to um, find um, other sources of funding um, to fund my education. I've never been on a bursary. Um, this is the first time I have actually gone out um, and um, received uh, or tried to receive um, external funding and I think that how this will benefit you is that it won't only be an investment to me it will be an investment to everyone that I come into contact with um, uh, whether in my academics or in my social circles or basically everything that I do so, well I'm, st I'm, st I'm still owing on my on my like my, my tuition fees and all of that um, it's really difficult because uh, my parents are also funding my brother and my sister. So, like, getting all that money, you know, to fund my education and their education is a bit difficult. I mean, we see as we go. Um, we make plans as we go um, in terms of getting registration and all of that. I mean, you saw with the fees must fall thing, that affects me too. Um, I don't want registration fees to go up. so. My family kind of like sacrifices and like and scrapes the money that we have together to be able to pay for my tuition fees. Um, but yeah, I I also take up like odd jobs like you know to be able to get my own money and stuff.
in conclusion um i'd like to just implore you to um to believe in me um to believe in uh, my plight um to believe in me as a young black woman with um above average aspirations with um, very big ambitions and to help me make my dreams a reality, um, to help me be um, um, the kind of person that my parents fought for me to be, my grandparents fought for me to be, um, to exceed my potential and to be a prominent woman in the legal stratosphere. Thank you.